On April 29, 2014, there was a solar eclipse, one of four eclipses in 2014. NASA's latest solar watching satellite, IRIS, the Interface Region Imaging Spectrograph, captured the event. Like most of the beautiful solar images we see online, the IRIS images are processed at Lockheed Martin. You can find them online at lmsal.com. On their website, you can find a lot of good resources for learning about the sun and the regions explored by our satellites. To find the latest available IRIS images, we're going to go to the IRIS page and look for the slit jaw images in the top right. There are two good observation sequences IRIS got of this eclipse. First at the limb in 1400 angstroms. We see the moon come in from the right. Extra colors and effects are added afterwards in my processing that give us the raw black and white images only. We also got a terrific shot of a departing active region in 1330 angstroms. Of course, the iris is most useful for things other than eclipse watching, but as this is a first, it's noteworthy. Indeed, iris gives us the best close-up shots of the sun we have at the moment, and it will keep that top spot until the GOES-R satellite is launched in 2016. Meanwhile, apart from individual events like transits and flares, we're constantly monitoring the heartbeat of the solar system with iris. The sunspot pulse with the wave frequency indicative of being connected to the well-known 3 and 5 minute sunspot oscillations in the electromagnetic spectrum. These pulses are foundational, as they are all less than 3 minutes. IRIS is the latest in solar watching satellites, just like the SDO and SOHO. They're transforming our understanding and how we watch the sun. Be safe, everyone.